today to Cypress College, but I'm beyond excited because we're going back to a swap meet. Yeah, we've done a lot of game hunting lately at conventions and different places and stores. So we're going to Cypress today. We haven't been here in a long time. But every time we come here, we find some good stuff. So I'm hoping for that today. <laughs> but this is back to a swap meet where the deals are made and where we can have fun at the expense of no one. Today I have like a good feeling that we're gonna find a ton of stuff. The most stuff we've ever found in NES Pursuit history. This day will be a landmark of landmarks. Dude, you're walking really fast. And you know what? It's gonna be a good day. Alright, let's go. Stop it already! Dude, that actually... There's one hat that Gabble really needs, and it's right here. Merka! <laughs> it's not even a Merka, it's Merka! So amazingly, we walk. I think this is the first row we go to. We walk down, I see all these boxes. I'm like, guys, let's go check it out. Dude, this guy's got N64 boxes, Nintendo boxes. He's got, it's what you want to find at the swap meet. And in your head, you're just like, dude, this is going to be a great score. We're golden, because, dude, we're the only guys there at this point. That's like one of those things we haven't seen in a while where like a booth has like a ton of random stuff. We get there and uh, the Nintendo stuff, they want to sell it as a bundle for 130, which is, eh, I'm not gonna pay that. It's not necessarily that they were pricey, we don't know if they would budge, but they kind of didn't want to sell a lot of the yeah. stuff right away. They were like, it has we have to get everything complete first and like figured out before we throw out prices. So, uh, I was just bummed out. Honestly, they had Mar all I wanted was Mario Kart and Diddy Kong but they wouldn't sell us anything. They're like, oh, well, maybe it'll be in the back. It started out like really good feeling. I was like excited at yeah. first, and then I got a little sad. Yeah, is that it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You sure? <laughs> so, no sale. They could have, dude, they could have made some easy money right there. We're gonna find a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, boy. Well, turn around. All right. I can't do it. Even with these gloves are still not in the section. <laughs> Salami in there first, and then, and then, and then you got five each. You in there? Most people would kill to have those prices. I got one of everything. Not me though. <laughs> so I happened to walk by a place that has a ton of VHS tapes. Now VHS tapes for me, I only like to collect them if. I have nostalgia attached to it. If it's a new movie or something even like late 2000s, I don't really care to get it. Normally I don't pick them, it has to be like really like something I, that's like sentimental to me and I saw this. But I see right away Labyrinth from 1986 with David Bowie. One of my most favorite like animatronics, non-CGI type movies from back in the day. I know Dark Crystal was a big one back in the day, but I see this and this is like one of my most sentimental movies as a kid. Uh, Labyrinth was a go-to for me. So I think I'm gonna grab this. Let me see if anything else in here. The person right away says these are a dollar each. So I end up grabbing five for five. I got five VHSs for five bucks. Edward Scissorhands was a big one for me. And I don't, this movie always creeped me out in a lot of weird ways. Not even just because he looked creepy. Because he looks like you. I even remember one of the girls' outfits like used to scare me. The VHSs that I picked in total are Labyrinth, Edward Scissorhands. Die Hard. Die Hard's a go-to, actually. I'm gonna get, I wanna get five. This I wanna get Blade Runner and Braveheart. For the longest time, Braveheart was considered my favorite movie of all time, but looking back, it's actually gonna be Jurassic Park. But still, Braveheart, a wonderful story, a wonderful uh, war movie with a lot of love in it, too. It's a very uh, romantic movie as well, so I'm happy. Well, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. You know what, yeah, me too. You know what is the best part of this movie? When he yells freedom. Freedom! Five for five. I got it, keeping VHS alive. Go ahead, Gabo, do something. Here's the, here's the five. Labyrinth, Edward Scissorhands, Blade Runner, Die Hard, and Braveheart. I see you over there like waiting to do something. Here it comes. Oh, not in my mouth! Gosh! Hey, I found a game. Aladdin. I'm gonna be honest. 
yeah, probably you guys are gonna be disappointed. I never played this game before. I hear so many good things about it, so let's find out. So we get to this booth and they got a lot, that lady has a lot of toys, really cool toys. So to be honest, I'm not the biggest Simpson collector, but <laughs> I found this crusty jack in the box from 2002 for seven bucks. I have to get that. Let me help you out, bud. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, this is cool, man. Batman, Batman the Animated Series Joker. Oh, Look at this, the hang cool. tab isn't even popped yet. At that same booth where Gabo gets the Simpsons Jack in the Box, that's really awesome. He said he found a crusty box. <laughs> I end up getting a little Joker diecast Batman the Animated Series, which this is cool. It has a collector sticker include sticker. The sticker <laughs> makes the it sicker. Sticker. They got it. They got a hashtag that. That's a new thing. Uh, Would you do? We all know is the greatest thing to ever happen in Batman history. Batman the Animated Series. So to pick this up for just a few bucks, would you do? Would you do five on this one? Will you do five on this one? Yeah. I'll take. It. Absolutely, how to do it? The greatest cartoon in the '90s, except, except The Simpsons. No. Batman the Animated Series, as you know, <laughs> it's not a, it's not a question. It's a fact. Is the greatest Batman thing that ever happened, for sure. So, Simpsons and Batman the Animated Series at one booth. Look at. We bought stuff, Batman the Animated Series, and he got the Simpsons thing, which I've never seen that before. That's really cool, if he could get it out. Yeah. He got the best of the 90s in the animated world. But it doesn't matter because he got the sticker. Because this the sticker makes it sicker. Nice. This is 1992. It is what it is. <laughs> I mean, it is complete. One dollar, Ricky. Yep, it's a toy. Ricky. Riff stops us in the middle of the, the aisle and yells out, oh, remember the, the, you got the Xbox PJs? I'm like, Ricky, you know, you thought you'd get away from it. And a while ago, we promised people that you'd wear these. Ricky kind of lost a bet a while back with the audience and he has to wear. <laughs> if this video gets 1,000 likes, Ricky will game hunt in those. Seriously, will you? Yeah. If this video gets 1,000 likes, you'll game hunt in those. Yeah. And I think the promise has to be fulfilled. I know it's gonna get hot out too any minute. Dang. Yeah, I remember. Xbox 360, still on the wrap. Pajamas. A boiling hot, sweaty pair of Xbox 360 pajamas that have never been opened, by the way. Kind of a cool thing to have. So put them on, Ricky. Come on, you're gonna look really good. Damn. He's gonna look nice. If he got a thousand likes, I'd have to open up my uh, PJ bundle and wear it. One. But Ricky puts these on, and oh my gosh, I can like feel the perspiration coming off his back when he puts them on. Well. Here you go. <laughs> wow. He's like immediately like I wish I didn't do this because he uh, he was sweating. Look at his butt. Man, do I regret that. That is some hot PJs. Does it say like 360 back then? Oh yeah, they say 360 everywhere. <laughs> that did not feel good. He looks like, dude, the funniest part is he's gonna get really hot soon. The sun's coming out. <laughs> Kinda gross, but Ricky's a trooper. He kept him on the entire day. I was only thinking he was gonna keep him on for like five minutes, so. Yeah, well, I can no longer wear your backpack, bro. I'm already feeling it. That's disgusting, bro. Really? <laughs> The magic of the PJs. Finally, Ricky did something for the squad. After he put the PJs, how much for the games? Uh, two for five, bro. Two for five? Yeah, nice. Oh my God, it's, it was like magic. I found a couple of Xbox 360 games. 
Ricky, it was, was good luck. Ricky, <laughs> yeah. Especially one that I was looking for. Two for five. Nice. I don't know if I ever told you that I'm collecting Xbox 360. Alien versus Predator. It's a really cool game, actually. I got the green OG Xbox controller. And I got Alien vs Predator, amazing game. It's a first person shooter game. You know what, the best thing about that game is you can play as the aliens, the predators, and the soldiers. And Army of Two. I'm hoping to play this with Riff and Ricky, but let's see. I'm too busy, I'm too busy. Uh, nice! I got some N64s, but for some reason I don't have power with them. So, good pickup. Hey, look what I found. Five bucks. Really good price. It's really good condition. Look at that. Look at these bootleg Tiger Electronic games. That is hilarious. There is no Disney officialness in there. And there's also some uh, some Atari games, Combat Pitfall, the greatest Atari game ever made. Um, look at these old Bible videos. Oh my gosh. Dude, I used to watch these as a kid. These are sealed. Sealed, bro. I legitimately used to watch these as a, as a child. We're at this booth, in a reseller booth that we always go to, and normally the prices aren't so great, but I see Gabble right away. When I was thinking I got Ricky and Rifo sleeping, <laughs> we finally a great game. And actually, I was looking for that game for a long time. Gunblade for the Wii. Gunblade for the Wii, which I did not know. Gunblade LA Machine Guns, I have no idea anything about this game. But I look it up as Gabo's paying for it because I hear him say $10, and it's a $40 game, and I'm, Gabo, good come up. Man, I didn't know that was like a Wii game that was kind of like hard to find or a little more expensive. You know what? When I opened, it was only 10 bucks, and the game is around 40 to 45 bucks. Gabo's walking out all excited, like, oh, I told you guys I love this game, I did so good, I know the Wii, I'm smart. He opens it up. What was it, Parents of the Caribbean? <laughs> I found out it was uh, some Lego game, and I was like, really? And then all of a sudden, he has to go back, and he's like, oh, don't worry, I got the game, he's gonna have the game. He goes over there, he doesn't have the game. And uh, yeah, like you said, he would have had a, a $40 game for 10 bucks. And he walked out and it was like Lego Pirate. Gabo makes me, by the way, look with him through every single game. The game wasn't in there. In every game. And we looked, never we looked through every Wii game to see if it was in there. And dude, like 50% of the games were in the wrong case. <sighs> The, guy's, and the guy was nice though, so we don't want to, you know, cast hate, but was I mad? No, I thought it was, it makes for better footage, so sorry about that, Gabo. That's alright, man. Oh! Oh! oh. My back! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We go to another place, and we see some Genesis games on the end of the table, and the prices are kind of, eh, whatever, they are what they are at the, the rest of the booth. He said the games are five bucks, I don't know what Experts is. But when we ask about the Genesis games, he says just five bucks. That's always the best sign as a game hunter, when someone doesn't say which game. That's kind of like your worst nightmare, you're like, oh, which game, he knows, whatever. Two Crew Dudes is one that Tyler just told me about in our squad cast. He was like, hey, you should check out Two Crew Dudes. I play the arcade version, but never play the Genesis version, but he says the Genesis version is good. Because Genesis does. I've never seen experts. But he says five across the board, and Gabo finds a really cool game, like an isometric fighting game with RPG elements that looked really cool. And he got that isometric, like a RPG game, but I like how the, the action is real time, not turn based. Yeah. But I got two crew dudes, and that was on there for five bucks. Now, this is a game that Tyler from iRetro Gamer and also our show, My Retro Life Now, he told me you gotta play two crew dudes that I've played on the arcade, never played it on the Genesis version. He said, it's great on the Genesis. I didn't know the price on it because I don't really know anything about it, but it's 20, 22 bucks just for the cart. And Gabo's, the game looks really cool, and it's like a $13, and it's a $13 hey, game. But you know the story about two crew dudes? So I picked it up for five bucks, and little did I know, also it's like a $20, $22 game, loose cart. 
So I'm a win. Two crew dudes. That would have been a good name for the channel when we started, Ricky. Two crew dudes. That would have been great. So actually, this is the sequel for Bad Dudes. You remember Bad Dudes? Bad Dudes. I'm bad. Oh, good timing. Nice. Nice. What is? Yeah, man. I can't take you serious with those pajamas on. Now with Gabo, it's three dumb idiots. Hey, look at me, I'm an idiot. Whatever. It is what it is. Dang, it's freaking good. <laughs> I wish I had this at home, just like this setup. So I'm <laughs> drinking a uh, strawberry lemonade agua fresca. Yeah. Oh my god, it tastes so sugary. Everything's sugary, bro. Oh, but it's so good. All right, so another thing I got excited for is we walk up to this booth. And he, he had a couple games here and there, but he had this 32, uh, this Genesis with a 32X. So I'm just looking at a Sega 32X. The only problem is these cores are really hard to come by. And the reason I wanted it so bad is because when I flipped it over, I really only wanted it because this used to be stolen property. <laughs> it was part of evidence. It was like part of the, it came from the police department. It was evidence. It's, it's the same place we got, we got Gabble from, the police department. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Came from the police department. <laughs> when are you gonna find, ever find an, another Genesis that has the ev evidence, that came from evidence? Like, seriously, who raided a house is like, let's take the Genesis? <laughs> Kevin, toma 15. No. No? Well, I tried. The guy, the guy wanted 25 bucks, and it was pretty, like, scratched up. Just the 32X part, and. Uh, I, I, I wasn't feeling it. Hi, and welcome to NES Pursuit. Ice cream, two dollars, come on. Vanilla, chocolate, come on. Two bucks, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Probably one of my favorite Sonics, Sonic and Knuckles. When Knuckles came out, I honestly went crazy because I thought he was the coolest. And I got this game, only Xbox. Pat, the Brick Story Pop. Oh. Ricky. Whoa. Wow. Good old Ricky. I <laughs> Gabba, why'd you not have my hands? <laughs> I, got, I got Torque, Brick Story Punk for two bucks. The only bad thing is no manual, but it's in really, really good shape. I can't take it serious. Why are you dropping your game so much? Bro, I think I'm like getting heat stroke from the stupid <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next thing we find is we go into this booth. Uh, right on the corner of my eye, I see this little lunchbox. I'm like, dude, what is that? Get me a nice Rambo lunchbox and a hat for 10 bucks. It was a cool lunchbox. Something I really, really, like because it's like what I grew up with. All of us, if you grew up in the 80s, you know. He got me sleeping. Now I need, now I only can have the Hello Kitty one. Rambo's awesome. And it was a Rambo, 1985 Rambo lunchbox. Woohoo! Bro, look what I got. Oh my goodness. I love it too, that it's like that tin feeling and this is plastic. A lot of them have like that mix, like there's some parts of it tin, some part plastic. This has that both. Nice. But man, this is like uh, when you talk to people about uh, like thermoses or different types of lunch boxes, Rambo, that one is like one of the most talked about ones, is one that people want. You can't get any manlier than Rambo. This thing's beautiful, dude. For the age, I'm surprised it's not more rusty because I've seen quite a bit of them that are like pretty beat up and like rusty. And it was only, well, I wanted a hat as well. He wanted eight and five, but I bundled them together and got them both for 10. Nice. Nice. Why the M16 have a rocket on it? Look at that. It doesn't make sense. Rambolicious. Rambolicious. Are you zooming in and out? Hi. Wait, wait.
wait. Oh, dude, from far away, this looked like the Mario Bros. original oh. DVD cover. Dang it. The last booth that I go to that I make a purchase is this guy's booth who has some random Xbox games and Wii games, but Ricky asks about Smash Bros and then Kirby's epic yarn on the Wii. Little scratch. But not bad. Eight bucks. I took it if I didn't have it. And the guy says eight bucks, and I'm like, that's not that bad of a deal. I don't have uh, Smash Bros complete in box at all. Smash Bros Brawl. I was debating this too, but I think I already have a copy of that. Smash Bros. on the Wii, Smash Bros. Brawl, came out in 2008, and it is a fantastic Smash Bros. entry into this franchise of games. What I, or I rank this pretty high up with the, the Wii games. I, I like this for, I mean, out of Smash Bros. games. I rank this as a good one. It's a beautiful game that has a great campaign that I think is one of the higher points in the game. It's one of my more favorite things about the game. But this is where we got Snake. Bro, and other team, you got a campaign. Yeah, it's a good a story, campaign. A story mode, a, really good. A good story really mode, good. and, and uh, also we got Snake. Snake was introduced to us, which was like one of the biggest moments when it was revealed. Like, wait, you're telling me Snake is gonna be in this? I feel like that was kind of where like Nintendo started to kind of go crazy with all these different characters and different IPs coming to the Smash world. It's complete, and it's like $12, $13. You know what? Right? What I love about this one, the intro, the music. And, and I will say, Amazing. the best, in, in my opinion, my favorite cover art of the Smash Bros games so far. Really? I know there's still yeah. some good ones. I also talked the guy down one dollar, so I got it for seven bucks, complete, and that's about half the price that it normally goes for. So that's that's a win, that's why you go to the swap meet. I love this one, especially for the story mode. So good. So I got it for like half off retail. Nice! Ah! Ow! That hurt? That hurt? Sorry. Super Smash Brothers! I don't like Gabo here for narrations. It just doesn't feel the same anymore. Wait, man. wait, wait, wait. I don't wait, like Go anymore. over here. You got something. All right. That's it. Finally, a dream come true. Going back to the squad meet with the squad. I felt good. I, I mean, I'm hot as yeah. heck, but. It was, it was a fun day. I felt good about it. We didn't get like big scores, but we got like two crew dudes and some good come ups, and then also just stuff we like as well. It's true. We got a lot of stickers that made things stickers. It felt so good today to get back out to the SWAT meet. Back in the wild, you don't know when, where, what, how you're gonna get a video game. You get what you can get for the prices you can get. <sighs> it felt good. No. It's been a long time since I give you guys something. So, you know, I gobble the giver, so I'm supposed to give tough. Like, for example, I'm gonna give you a hug now. Overall, it was an awesome day. It's actually, now that the, I'm not wearing the PJs, it's great weather. It's actually beautiful. Hey, look at me. I'm Wario. Oh, nice. And I got to spend with these two goofs, which was honestly probably the best part of the day. We're the goof troop, I never realized it. We are the goof troop. Can I be Max? I was gonna get this at the convention, but Gal was like, bro, don't get it, I got one. I was like, don't get it, I give it to you. Thanks, bro. Dude, awesome, thank you. Welcome, man. With love. All right, time to go. No, no. Yeah, I'm goofy for sure. <laughs> and Gabo's Big Pete. <laughs> big what? Big Pete. He was a blast, to be honest. It's been a long time since I The door. Oh shoot. Oh, this is awesome, dude. Per Whoa. You know how normally stuff like does like the 3D effect? This like really has that 3D effect. I don't know if it's gonna come through on camera. We can get that on. But you know what is the best thing? What? He got the sticker because oh, the, the sticker, sticker makes it sicker. Oh my gosh, we told Gabo not to close that because it, we're here at some school property. Oh, oops. <laughs> Run. Perfect. I love it. Perfect. To be honest. Perfect for your game. Thank you, Gabo. 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 Hey, look at me, a big beat. That's a perfect way to end the video. It is what it is. All together now. It is what it is. It is what it is. Everybody, it is what it is. Oh yeah. It is what it is. Whatever. Xbox 360. Woo. Xbox 360. I'm actually feeling really good now. I was standing for a lot yesterday, so this is actually kind of rough on me. Stop. Hammer time. Yeah, that seemed like it was way too hard. That was too hard. He's still trying to get me back for that slap. Run. Now I'm in trouble. 
Uh oh. Slayer! Come on, you have to do it. You're gonna hurt me. You're like way heavier. Master Chief one. Get him. Get him. Oh my gosh, that's as high as you can kick? <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. Turn that, turn that camera up, right? It was to help people learn math. <laughs> well, Woo! I gotta. Oh yeah, you got me. <laughs> Hit me low there, man. I don't know if I ever told you, I'm ball. I'm ball too. <laughs> Freaky. <laughs> I think Gab was gonna try to steal it right now, but whatever. <laughs> Wow, it's me! Cabo? Oh, where's my head? Uh, where's my head cut off right now? Yeah, he's not even. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> What's in your house? Please? The sticker? Making oh, seeker. Wow. Glory. Glory. Well, I, I did have a clean copy of Sonic and Knuckles, but now it's all. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! So, honestly, I wanted it. The sticker made it sicker. Bro, bro, I couldn't imagine this. this. Okay. It says Netflix. The, the stickers make, make it, it sicker. sicker. Look at this. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Hold on. I was getting compliments on this today. Yeah, some guy was like yelling. He's like, Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. 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 We didn't need another Gabo on our show. <laughs> Something we get on a whim and wish we would have never done. Especially in your house. <laughs> oh, that's true. Well, never mind. They're not yeah. on diets. They both failed. Whatever. Oh, Antonio Rosario. Oh, Tony, let's go. You're the dumb and I'm the dumber. They're, you're the dumb and I'm the dumber. Yeah. Just so you know, it's a silent B. Dumber. 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 Oh, whatever. Yeah, there's no B in dumber. Did you use a knife to open that game? One, two, three. It looks but you, good. But you have to pay for it. Oh, that's funny. It looks good. I like yeah. it. Ready? You're already feeling it, dude. No, it wasn't it me. It wasn't me. How the heck did I hear it all the way over here? <laughs> lay on him, lay on him. <laughs> lay on him, lay on him. Whoa! Oh, 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 boy. How much would you say the game's worth? Grab my leg when it lands. All right, Ready? all right, all right. Fight, fight, wait, fight, wait. Oh, fight. Wow. fight. Oh my gosh! <laughs> all right, that's a good fight. Come on, people don't want to see that. Are you using lotion? For your, for your soft skin leg? I do wear lotion. Oh, that's disgusting, dude. It's like rice milk. It sounds... <laughs> <laughs> Got it! Yeah! Whatever. <laughs> Ricky? Ricky? You guys don't realize it. Gabo like abuses me, guys. That mustache looks sexy. Ricky, is everyone making fun of your pants or what? Dude. A, a fun little spot. I think you're going to take it. That was so stupid, right? You can pants me all you want. I got shorts under here. <laughs> I already know he's coming. I don't know what he's going to do. I just got to cover my ears because as long as he doesn't get my ears, I'm good. Are you the reason we found Xbox 360 yeah, stuff? I think it is, dude. You trying to find Ricky's pee, -pee? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what is the best thing? He's rewinded. it. Poor Ricky, I saw him game hunting half the time. I would see him like airing out his 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 uh, PJ pants. Made in China. <laughs> oh, you think you're basket rolling or something? Like what? the play of the mob? Oh boy, Ricky, those look really hot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. We'll check it out again. Whatever. I know that's the notorious DAG back there, but you know who you are? Super Nintendo. No. Why? DIJ. The brown Indiana Jones. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm trying to relax. <laughs> hey, look at me. It's me again. Oh, you didn't give it to me earlier when it was nice and cool? Nope. Had to wait till I knew the sun was coming out. I was like, this is my time to shine. It was a pleasure. I'm not trying to get kicked out of the swamp. I'm sorry. Just so you know. Can I say the Dick Tracy joke? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you wearing your shoes? What yeah. is that, dude? Girl shoes. Oh. You got a problem? Yeah. I, I never liked this movie because I got my appendicitis during this movie is when I felt it kick in. Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's a good day. Good day. Well, I found the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Where? I legitimately was so, so, so much happier when he wasn't doing narration. Real talk. No reason. Come on. Wow. <laughs> the material is just... Really not there. Oh, 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 you're scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm illegal. I'm illegal. I'm illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't at least watch this before I got him. What kind of filming is this? <laughs> oh, 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 get him. <laughs> I always go for the horchata.